Hi friends, if you are an architect or an engineer or any professional attached to the construction or real estate industry, then it is for sure that you are facing issues pertains to deep excavation for building basement or underground structure. Hence, to get hugely benefited, you can't afford to miss this informative video anymore. Stay tuned and watch till the end and unlock the hidden potentiality. It is an effective compilation of useful knowledge as available, blended with practical exposures and experiences earned. To make it a complete and foolproof solution for deep excavation for your building, project or property. Hello friends, myself Avijit Datta. You are watching our YouTube channel Smart Engineers. As you know, in Smart Engineers, our motto is to discuss about the subject matter which are not covered adequately in our college course curriculum, but there is a huge demand or requirement in practical or professional field or in industry. Let's try to bridge this huge gap between the academia and industry and develop our country. Before we proceed further, request you all to subscribe our this informative channel and press bell icon for immediate all future notification and updation. Friends, if you haven't watched our earlier two career advancement videos, that is how to earn IGBC AP certification in next two weeks, that too in first attempt and how to become IBBI registered valuer and earn huge. Please watch them and get hugely benefited. Also, check out our practical research work on pre-stress concrete and how to do APDM flooring, a foolproof solution for building waterproofing, smart engineering approach, basement or underground structure waterproofing, where and how to place construction joints in concrete, second pile sewing system. All these videos are effective compilation of useful knowledge as available, blended with practical exposure and experience earned from project sites. So please check them for your benefit personally as well as professionally. Deep Excavation Our Disclaimer Preambles As we know, the recent construction boom and the volumes of construction has thrown up a number of challenges. The construction industry is facing a problem of huge volumes, shorter construction period, shortage of labor and are realizing the importance of planning and mechanization in the construction technique and methodology. Although to a large extent the construction industry is able to adopt to every growing requirement of the market to deliver the superstructure but it is not the same for the substructure and here is where all of us in this industry including architects, structural consultants, contractors and project management consultants have to team up to provide solutions in particular for very restrained projects or plots in downtown areas. The recent bylaws allowing five basements have also added to the challenges 
that the industry is facing in the construction of the same. It is not only throwing challenges to the designers and contractors to construct such deep basements, but also to keep timelines of the construction of the project, which otherwise becomes unviable. As you can see, a complex and restrained condition depicted here. What is earthwork in excavation? As we know, work procedure for excavation at construction site involves understanding of center line and excavation drawings, setting out of plan on ground, excavation of soil and removal of excess soil. Scope of work for excavation. The major works done before, while and after excavation are as follows. What is a deep excavation? Excavation projects come in all different shapes and sizes, ranging from long and shallow to focused and deep. Shallow excavations are defined as being anything less than 1.5 meters deep. Deep excavations, on the other hand, are defined as being any excavation which is more than 4.5 meter in depth. Carrying out a deep excavation. There are numerous ways to carry out a deep excavation, most of which require in-depth knowledge of specific construction principles. These include mechanical excavating, reinforcement that is through sloping, shoring or boxing, site assessment that is soil type, hazard identification, air containment testing, etc. In addition to being able to correctly and safely carrying out a deep excavation, a project of this nature also needs to be planned and overseen by a qualified person who is capable of assessing the specific needs and risks of this type of construction task. Earth retention Deep excavation in restricted area cannot be done without providing adequate support to the retention of the earth. Retention is required from the point of view of safe working in the basement till it reaches ground level. Protecting the laborers and staffs working in the basement who will be in danger from sudden soil collapses, providing protection to the adjoining buildings from settlement due to soil movements and erosions. Earth retention can be safely provided by the following methods. Open excavation, contagious piling, soil nailing, second piling, diaphragm walls or slurry walls, seat piling, soaring or strutting or bracing, anchor contiguous piling, second piling, seat piling or diaphragm wall. Water disposal. Water due to rain or underground water table has to be disposed of by using proper dewatering system. Water disposal shall be a combination of sump tanks, swells and well point system. Open excavation. Open excavation is done by providing sufficient slopes and benching to the required depth. Proper sloping and benching is to be provided so that excavation can be done in stepwise, but this method 
may not be possible for the deep excavation in the restricted plots. Here are few advantages of open excavation. Please go through. Now, few of the disadvantages as well. Now, the next important question is, what is shoring? Shoring is the temporary structure used to prevent the collapse of the main under construction structure. Shoring in construction is essentially required to support a deep excavation to prevent the retained soil from outturning and eventually causing a project mishap. Soaring structures are completely different from retaining walls as it is used only to retain the soil during the excavation. Shoring in construction. It is always essential to decide which type of shoring suitable construction project that we are engaged in at the early stage of design. Building construction in an urban area with a high building density around requires special consideration. There is another important problem to decide the use the temporary means also for the final building structure. Now the types of soaring. The most common types of soaring in construction are as follows. I-beam soaring, board pile soaring, second pile soaring, diaphragm walls. Let's have some brief presentation on all these soaring except board pile soaring. For board pile soaring, please refer our YouTube video specially made on second pile soaring to know in details. Common Types of Shoring in Construction Shoring in construction is used to support a deep excavation to prevent the retained soil overturns and eventually cause a project mishap. Depending on the soil type, shoring support is usually provided when we need to support an excavation with at least 1.2 meter height. The common types of shoring that we usually encountered in the construction project are Number 1. I-beam shoring also known as soldier pile walls, are the most common type of shoring that we usually encountered in a construction project. It is constructed by driving prefabricated steel eye sections into the ground. Soil condition may allow for the sections to be vibrated directly into the ground, instead of pre-drilling of soil before installing the beam. The full wall is formed by installing a precast concrete panel between the driven steel beams to construct the shoring walls. I-beam shoring is used to support an excavation ranging from 1.2 to 5 meters deep or excavations equivalent to at least one basement, and depending on the design, its toe length ranges from 10 meters to 12 meters depth from zero levels. You can go beyond 5 meters, provided that it is properly designed and calculated to sustain the given surcharge load along its outside perimeter. Please watch our interesting video made on second pile soaring system for your complete knowledge. Number 4. Sheet Piles. Although can be used to retain soil to soil excavations, this type of shoring is best to use when we need to isolate our excavation from the bodies of water specifically a creek, a pond or on a seaside. It is commonly seen in a port and harbor construction. 
Similar to soldier piles, it can be constructed by driving prefabricated Z or U steel sections into the ground, using a vibro hammer. The full wall was formed connecting the Z or U steel sections or the sheet piles. Depending on the depth of excavation, the end of the sheet piles if not long enough, can be welded together to reach the desired depth in the ground. Number 5. Diaphragm Walls. When the excavation is too deep for the above-mentioned type of shoring, diaphragm walls can be used. It is intled in three panels of reinforced concrete installed and concreted at site. It can be a load-bearing element for a temporary or permanent retaining wall or both. For deep excavation of basement and tunnels, diaphragm wall is the best option. Interested viewers may go through our book on basic approach to steel seat pile works available in Notion Press. As you can see here, this particular book having a practical approach to guide an engineer for effective implementation of steel seat pile works in a very user friendly manner. Along with you will get a holistic concept about the work package pertaining to steel seat pile works. Also, an insight about the design aspects as well. Now, let's understand the brief SOP that is standard operating procedures of deep excavation works. Points are enumerated here. Please go through in detail. Now, the scheme of the works. Scheme or sequence of activities will be as follows. You can see the sectional excavation drawing for a typical building in line with the scheme as just we have discussed. Carrying out a deep excavation. Now you can see few photographs taken directly from site where you can see that at the periphery seat piles have been done and post to that excavation started keeping a slope depending upon the angle of repose initially the central portion of that particular building is being excavated without disturbing the periphery and for the excavation as you can see long boom excavator has been deployed there to get the advantage to do excavation from the upper level of the project site itself another close view of the project where you can see that some sort of pitching also done using empty cement bags filled with soil to protect the adjacent structure. Here also, as we mentioned in our scheme, you can see that excavation is taking place in the central portion of the building or tower without disturbing the periphery and in the periphery the soil has been kept in a slope manner to prevent any sort of collapse. This is the pictorial representation of lateral supporting arrangements 
for deep excavation we should follow it is a typical sketch now you have to make it projectized as per your project requirement now post excavation of that central portion of the building or structure and completion of rough the building will go in vertical way for further construction whereas we need to take care about the lateral support from the constructed raft to our soaring system that could be seat pile or second pile you can see here that in option 1 lateral support provided from adjacent raft a closer view of our option 1 you can see the arrangement all these photographs have been taken directly from the site there is another option for lateral supporting arrangement that is called king post arrangement you can see that supports have been provided from opposite wall by king post arrangement another view of the same king post arrangement now considering the characteristic of the soil sometimes we may go for option 3 that is soil nailing method as you can see the scheme here actual photographs from the project sites where soil nailing works is underway here it is a video of soil nailing work for your reference now gunning being done by help of pressure pump safety precautions in a deep excavation work is very important as you can see this eliminate hazards and control risks by implementing precautions in excavations and trenches where we should do the pre planning use protective system take all safety measures and conduct periodical inspection needless to mention safety is paramount of any deep excavation work now here are some strategies to carry out a deep excavation work please go through in detail 
each and every points are very very important to execute a deep excavation work in a efficient manner you can see a sample photographs of a project where excavation planned in phase manner few more important points for your contemplation please go through in detail here you can see the typical section of our excavation scheme now you have to make it projectized as per your requirement and use few more important points for your contemplation and use in your project site please go through in detail here few are the management tips to execute deep excavation works in an efficient manner and add value in your project or property please go through in detail let's refer few data from project sites for your ready reference and use please check at your project what are the parameters you are getting these are indicative in nature data pertain to higher charges of various machineries required for deep excavation works needless to mention all these are indicative in nature you have to check at your end what is the figure you are getting there a cost study furnished here for your basic understanding it is implied that you will check in your project site level and find out the actual figure for your workings thank you hope you have found our this informative video on deep excavation beneficial for your career as well as knowledge further if you wish to implement the same in your building or project or property and organization and add or earn values may contact us for further supports once again request you all to subscribe our this informative channel and press bell icon for immediate all future updates and notification also share with your friends and contacts you feel will be of their use because sharing is caring thank you all hope to see you in next video namaskar